Okay, um, I need to record a video before I go insane because, I don't know, I'm just having a lot of things on my mind, so I'm just gonna record a video. I'm procrastinating once again, studying my tree stuff. I have been studying, but it just has not been going very well. I did find out, though, that um, Zone Hardiness Map has changed. If you check out arborday.org, um, you will see that the Zone Hardiness Map has changed. And so, Mr. Aldi, you are wrong. I just proved one of my instructors wrong. He said the Zone Hardiness Map has not changed. It changed in 2006, actually. So, I learned how to take screenshots. And for anyone that does not know how to take screenshots uh, in Windows XP, um, just press the, oh fuck, um, Alt, press Alt and um, the print screen key, which is like right after F12 on a normal Windows keyboard. I hate Windows, so I never ever use it if I don't have to. Um, I have to at work obviously, because everything one runs on Windows, but right now I'm on a Mac, and it's amazing. I love it. So, anyway, anyone who is unfortunate enough to be using Windows and needs to take a screenshot, alt, and uh, print screen, and then you would actually open up paint under accessories, on the, under the start menu, and then paste it in there. I'm assuming you can probably paste it into like a Word document or something like that. Probably not going to be too much more difficult just pasting it into a different area. Um, but yeah, that was fun. So I took screenshots um, of these web pages that I was viewing uh, just to prove my teacher wrong, and it was kind of fun. I love proving my teachers wrong because all too often they think they're right. They are not the Bible. They are not always right. And I shouldn't make that comparison because the Bible is not always right in most respects. I won't even touch on that subject. Um, but, yeah, so that was interesting. I researched zone hardiness maps, even though I wasn't supposed to. I was supposed to be studying for trees. But it was fun anyway. And... So I emailed him those screenshots, and I don't know. Yesterday I found out how to record a video in QuickTime, which is why my video quality is so good, Alex. So you need a Mac with an iSight camera built in, and then that will come with QuickTime. And all you have to do when you pull up QuickTime is press, um, it's like, I don't know, file, yeah, file, and then new recording, and it's pretty simple, so that's what I'm using right now, and that's why the quality is so awesome. I have the quality set to better on the uh, quality settings as well. So, thanks someone to get you a Mac, because they're awesome, and you should have one, Alex. But, um, other than that, I don't know. I'm really, I'm probably just really hyper because I've had too much coffee. As you can tell, Kishwaukee College. That's where I'm at right now, Kishwaukee College. Um, oh crap, now I hope I don't have freaky people like hunting me down, stalking me. I feel like I'm in, like, some cage because, like, I sit behind this desk at Media Services and there's this big, huge panel of windows. It's probably, like, I don't know how big it is, but it's really enormous and it's just this big panel of windows and people look at me while they walk by and I'm just like, hi, you're ugly. Or in some instances, there are hot people that walk by. And then I just kind of smile at them because I like hot people that walk by. They're fun to look at. So in that respect, it's nice. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm just really, 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 really hyper right now because of all the caffeine I've had. And 
Look at my eyebrows. If I can get it to line up. They're amazing. I love my eyebrows right now. They are amazing, I have to say so myself. And I need to touch them up, otherwise they're going to get out of hand again, and I don't like having to deal with that. And my eyebrows are real. My eyebrows are real. They might look like they're painted on from here. Because they're pretty fucking fantastic. I have to say so myself. I should just do eyebrows. That'll be my specialty, but then again, I'll have some fuck that doesn't know how to pluck their eyebrows, and I'll have to fix it. And fixing things is not very fun. And then I'd have to charge more for the initial uh, thing, because, like, people have some fucking crazy out-of-control eyebrows. Like, I did a video before, and I was talking about this hot guy, Tony, who unfortunately has dropped out. That makes me sad. I don't have man candy to look at in my propagation techniques class any longer. But he'll be back next semester probably. I don't know. He's he can't he has to work to be able to afford school, but then again he misses school because of work that he has to do to pay for school. So it's kind of a vicious cycle for him. But anyway, his eyebrows are like fucking crazy as hell. They're like enormous. And they like his eyebrows Oh my god. His eyebrows probably start like right here. And then they extend almost to his hairline. And then they're like an inch thick. An inch tall, I should say. But yeah, his eyebrows are out of control. Just like my roots. Look at my roots. My roots, my roots, my roots are on fire. And I watched this really awesome video today about um, uh, the uh, Marie Antoinette like pompadour thing, and it was really amazing. And I think I would like to do something kind of similar, but I don't have the time to do that. Like, it was a nine, a ten minute video, and it was time lapse, and it just highlighted the different portions of it, like how they ratted the hair, or how they um sectioned off the hair, and then how they did this, like, big rat ball thing to provide the structure for it. And I had always wondered how that was done, because I never knew how they provided that structure in there. I didn't know if it was tissues or what it was, but they used, like, this fake hair inside of hairnet for, like, the rat, and it was really weird. But now I know how to do that. Not that I had the time, but it was interesting nonetheless. Just like I found it interesting that I was right about the zone hardiness map. Not that I was right, but that Rich was wrong. And I don't know, I've probably used like 8 million words during this video because I'm talking like a mile a minute. Oh, I was also watching videos about hydrogen technologies, um, namely integrating a hydrogen. Uh, hydrogen cells into your car's engine for um, increased gas mileage. I need that because my car's a fucking piece of shit right now and it is not working very well. Instead of getting like 70 miles to a quarter tank, I'm down to a half tank and I've only had 80 miles. So yeah, there's something fucking wrong with my car. I don't know if it's like a fuel filter or if I need to check the tire pressure on my tires, but I'm not paying fucking 50 cents to use an air compressor when I have to pay $3.29 a gallon for gas. That's absolutely ridiculous. And I go to that gas station like, I don't know, at once every two or three days, and I get like 10 to $30 of gas every time. So since the semester started, I've probably spent like $500 there at least, and that's a low amount. Um, I'm guessing, because I drive so much, it's crazy. So I probably put more than that on there, and so yeah, this video is probably going to be longer than 10 minutes. 